Hello. Hello. Welcome. My name is Kate. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you'd like to book a reading, link is in the bio. Today, I want to do a reading on Michael Morrissey and John Conley. So today I want to do a reading on Michael Morrissey and John Conley. High level overview, they're both Leo babies. But they both also have deep ties to Massachusetts, perhaps corruption. I mean, John Conley's already been convicted of it, so I don't have to say allegedly with him. But the, there are movies about him. The Netflix has stuff on him. Quick Google search, and you guys can we can find more. You can find more information. His birthday is August first, so he's also a Leo. He lived in Canton uh, while he was an FBI agent, but. He was also feeding Whitey Bulger information. That's not allegedly. He's been convicted of it by a jury of his peers. He perhaps, no, I guess this isn't allegedly. He took bribes, corruption, and he went to jail and stuff for it. So I have a few questions. I am doing a cleanse of anything dark side. So I didn't watch anything on them or on any of this. So I this is just from the last time I did information or I did a little research into it. The questions that I have are <laughs> there's a few of them. So we'll just see a few questions. I'm gonna do one, see how long it takes, and then we'll go into it. I want to know, well, the first question I have, for, okay, Chubby Fingers is a nickname that somebody earned because they are morbidly obese. This is not rocket science. It's not hard. There's one morbidly obese man involved in there, okay? He goes by Chubby Fingers around here. Michael, you earned it. The first question that I have I just checked you guys are on in the top. What are the energetic connections? Oh, so we'll do a mashup between Michael Morrissey and John Conley. The second part of that question is, and how does Conley's past influence Morrissey's present? Let's do a mashup first on... Um, I wonder if we should just do a reading on John Conley and then do a mashup. Let's see. I've already prayed and set sacred space, called in the quarters, asked for guidance and protection and the right words, to hear the right words and say the right words. And my intention is to find out more about the John Conley chubby fingers connection. That's the intention. Shocker. There's money involved. You don't say. So both of these men are the strength card. Oh. Spun a wheel. Yep, they did. King. I didn't check Whitey Bulger's birthday. Their connection... John Conley's connection to Bulger is a childhood connection. Yeah, they were, I mean, here. 
probably he's probably started working for him. I'm just getting John Conley right now. On Wikipedia, he said it said like he was introduced. Billy Bulger was Whitey's little brother, and he was introduced to him when he was a page, a little boy. I mean, he was he was eight when that's what according to Wiki. Broken hearts, you don't say the devil. Yep, another page. Yeah, this started really, really young for him. He actually might have wanted to get out. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did want to get out, but not when he was buying a brand new boat. Another page. Yep, this started really young. It was probably like there, and Sean. Uh, What's his channel? Going through the motions. He knows, like, this Boston history much more. I literally glanced at Google or at Wikipedia before I came over here. So, yeah, they started young. I mean, it's, I think it was, like, the first projects in Boston or something. And so they're buddies. Like, they all, this all started young. There's a book called White Trash that's oh, so good. But what it's about is how, like, America was populated by, and Australia too, were populated by the poorest criminals in Britain. It's a great book, and it's historically correct. So, yeah, there was a lot of money, generational wealth. Yep. One of the ways that John Conley got caught was because he was buying, this is in the late 80s, like boats and harbor condos or something. And his FBI salary was only paying like $45,000 a year. And so he got a paycheck and she, he asked her to just set it in his desk for, and there were like a few uncashed paychecks, but he was buying all this stuff. It's like, yeah, I mean, oh, four pages. I don't even know how many brothers or sisters this or siblings John Conley has. I know, well, Whitey Bulger has at least a brother because Billy Bulger was John Conley's friend. John Conley grew up in Canton. He was corrupt FBI, and his connection to Morrissey is the most obvious connection between the federal investigation and poor Karen Reed's case. That's not really answering. I mean, this started young. Okay, we know that. So what? They grew up in the projects and they're, kid, they're friends. And there's secrets that we're never going to find out. There's a tower. Well, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Morrissey has, didn't learn from the men who went before him and set a precedent. Yeah, went through their teenage years. I mean, this is like, oh, the emperor, yeah. This is exactly what we'd expect. I mean, the sun shining on everything. So for John Conley, he's our Leo baby. He intuitively, this, is, this part is intuitively, he's the connection between the Whitey Bulger case, the federal investigation into Morrissey's office. That's not alleged. They got letters telling them that there's a federal investigation. So I just did a mat, a, a I just laid cards for Conley. Big deal. Conley got involved in the criminal life very young. So it, there's, I think we got all four pages. He might have had three brothers, too. They all, I mean, Irish Catholic, notoriously, is a big family. 
so big deal. I'd, in his defense, I'd say he never had a chance. Like, I mean, dark. the dark side was very enticing. Temptations of wealth and fame. I mean, here's generational wealth. I'd say this kid didn't have a chance. Whoever did his background, someone wrote a letter to J. Edward or Hoover on his behalf because the politicians are criminals too. And that's not even alleged. It's just the way it is. So I'd, I'd say this kid didn't have a chance. Oh, but he did go to Harvard. That's one thing. He went to Whitey Bulger encouraged him to go to law school. So he did. And then he went to Harvard. He has a, de a degree from Harvard. So he's not dumb. On paper, he looks good, too. I mean, big deal. Like, so what? He was involved young. He was involved in a lot of stuff that wasn't good. This is just basically laying out his life. It was enticing. He did go to law. He went and he got an education. He got into the FBI on a handshake and a hug, the good old boy system. Literally, someone wrote a letter. He was state rep, a Massachusetts state rep. And there, this is all from memory. So if you have Google. He, um, Somebody wrote a letter. He was a state rep who was like someone's big brother. Got him into the FBI. Like one of my dear friend's sons, you know, the good old boy system. That's how he got in. Then he was convicted of multiple things, but one of them was working for the feds and feeding Whitey Bulger information. I think we need... So this is saying, like, he grew up with it. Big deal. He was like a little kid. Grew up in the, I don't want to call them the projects, but that's what Wiki called it. So he grew up in the projects. And big deal. This is, that's what this is saying. I feel like this isn't, I mean, I guess we had to lay a foundation. Some, yeah. I mean, is this world. It come to an end. I mean, he got incarcerated for at least 10 years. And the judge is quoted in Wiki as saying that you went to the dark side. I'm like, yeah, I did. It's right here. So, yeah, I mean, he did a lot of dumb stuff. And it, I mean, I'm not getting, okay. So that's easy. Yeah, okay. This started young for him. Big deal. Let's see what. So, what does Morrissey have to do with Conley? Like, why? And I don't. Who is Conley? Like, I mean, I just gave us a, a rundown. Oh, because they didn't Whitey Bulger get caught in Boston? Like, he was hiding in plain sight. I remember when that happened. I was in Colorado. So, what does Morrissey have to do with this? I. I think it's Sandra Birchmore, or maybe they were in there before Birchmore. And when I say they, I mean Josh Levy, the good guys. What? Okay, so a question is what unseen influences are driving the federal investigation into Michael Morrissey's office? Dark side <laughs> comes in many ways. All right, let's do a mashup. Let's the, and a mashup is just an energy intersection. It's a moment in time. They both keep li living. It's just a one moment. 
if we get any cups, well, that'll be Karen, but if we get the Ace of Cups, that's a pregnancy, there's our girl, Birchmore. King of Swords. Ah, Ten of Swords, okay. Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, here's Chubby and John Conley. You know what I should do? It's Conley on the left, Chubby on the right. He's such an idiot. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching, you're an idiot. That's an opinion. Well, we just got all the same cards. Literally, he just got... Oh, here's Brian Albert. Did we ever find out if Brian Albert grew up in those... I don't want to call them the projects, but that's what it's on Wiki. Well, then that would connect Brian Albert to this stuff. So we have a king of swords closest to a socio-psychopath in the whole tarot deck when we're talking about true crime tarot. We also have, all right. I'm going to take a drink before I start explaining these. He just got like six of the exact same cards in a row. All right. So I'm guessing that Morrissey also grew up in these projects. I'm guessing that because we have some more pages. Where did I see a page? All right, I'm just going to start talking this out. And then I'm going to do a mashup in a different way. I'll talk these out and then I'm going to lay them again. Okay, so we have this King of Swords. Psycho sociopath. That's their type. We have a chubby finger archetype and a John Conley archetype. We have a Brian Albert archetype. <laughs> it's a good day to be a snitch. We have the sun shining light on this trash. We have the ultimate broken heart. I wonder if John Conley or Morrissey have siblings that have died. Or anyone that they love die because of this lifestyle. I mean, it it would be pretty obvious. It, to me, would be obvious that they did. But they sent messages that were very clear. Uh, overkill. Like, straight up mob stuff. According to Wiki. It'd be like, a head in a trunk or something. I mean held against their will, making decisions, weigh, the weight, weighing two decisions, pondering the next move. I mean, we're, you can spin the wheel, but there's always money waiting for you. There's another offer. Here's the knight coming in to fight his battles. There's poverty. Here's a king. We have two kings. This is all inherited. This comes down from grandpas or Ireland, like literally. That's what, we have two kings. That's an older and mature man. And the king of swords and the king of wands. So they got this from grandpas, allegedly. That's a guess, but and it just goes right down through the generations. I've said that before, too. Criminals create criminals and lawyers or doctors create lawyers or doctors. Or this kid. He's an anomaly. I'm going to do a um, famous fortune calls it a fork. I'm going to do left side, right side. And then I want to do their energy next to each other.
So we're going to do it left chubby, right John Conley. Left chubby, right Conley. Oh. <laughs> Dun dun dun. Yeah, Conley did work for the feds. <laughs> yep, he did. Oh, Brian Albert. Brian and John O'Keefe are here. Yikes. Yep. Okay. We found it. We got it. All right, so this is what I think happened. I think, oh, here's Chubby and here's Chubby. Okay, and here, I mean, we just got all the same cards. Die Priestess, she's your ride or die. All right, this is what I think we just picked up. I did Chubby on the left. Conley on the right. Just making sure you guys can see this. Okay. Chubby on the left. So what we have Chubby, we have John and Brian Albert. John O'Keefe and Brian Albert. We have an overkill card. We have a battle. Someone's crying over spilled blood. Do do do. And the King of Pentacles. Okay. So we also. Oh, Chubby does not know that the hermit archetype of Brian Albert has gone to the, the feds. Fine with me. What I think this is also showing us is that. The feds never really took their eye off of the Whitey Bulger case because it was so enmeshed in like layers and layers and layers of corruption. I mean, it went up to state representatives, judges, mm -hmm. and I think that Conley, I don't know who his children are, but I think that the feds kept a very close eye on him. He I think got out in 2020 or something. And I think he stayed a snitch and agreed to help the feds. Probably not out of the goodness of his heart, but I'm sure that they had way more dirt on him than they charged him or something. Because I think that it was all like, again, divine timing. Nicole Albert decided she was going to the Fed. She was not going to do this dark side stuff. Dark side's not even on here. Brian Albert flips. Conley is already an informant, whether he's doing it from jail or whether he's, I mean, he's old for, is there any older people? He was born in the in 1940. So I think that he had connections to the feds and perhaps the feds worked out a deal with him. Like if we let you out early because of like age and COVID, you have to keep us updated on what's going on <clears throat> in the Canton area. That's right around when Birchmore situation happened when Conley got out of prison. He might be back in prison. I have no, I mean, I glanced at Wiki. But I think that the feds used that connection to John Conley to get in to the Canton corruption. There's like no end or beginning. It's all a mesh. I think that Conley's helping the feds. And I think, well, we know that allegedly Brian Albert is too. I mean, the feds, we could put the feds right in the middle of this. And didn't I just, oh, we got chubby fingers. I didn't lay it down yet, but I know we have chubby fingers. 
So this could, oh, you know how you could look at this? This is Conley, because he's also a Leo baby. Josh Levy, Brian Albert. They're all working together against Shelby. Good one, buddy. I mean, <clears throat> I think that's what happened. I think that the feds kept their relationship with John Conley. It was an automatic in. I don't know what his kids do. Imagine if one of his kids is Proctor. Or he married a Proctor or something. It might be higher in the state patrol. Someone, though, is connected to Conley that's involved in law enforcement. Could be DEA, could be feds. I don't know where it is. That's what it was. I bet you they made a deal with Conley. We'll let you out, but we want to know what's going on. And they're Conley. Shelby, yeah, this is this is Conley, Josh Levy, Feds, and Albert. You go, Brian, go. The rest of it's just the same. Same old shaman dance. This is the two faced. I mean, she is not two faced. She's ride or die. But she has meant mistress in the, the Watts case readings. Oh, perhaps Chubby is sleeping. I mean, Chubby thinks he's sleeping with his friend. He's sleeping with the enemy. An idiot. The rest is like telling us about John, Colin. That's what I think. I think we just figured it out. I think the connection is that John Conley didn't ever really, perhaps he stopped working with the feds for a little while, but how can they trust him? I don't know, but I think he was their door, their foot in the door. Somewhere, someone's connected to him. Probably blood. They're all related. To but, or maybe his child. I don't know what his kids do. Maybe a daughter. But I think that's what we just figured out is that John Conley still helping the feds. And so is Brian Albert. Shelby, you're getting backed into a door. There's no light at the end of your tunnel. You should flip. You should go straight to Josh Levy's office and ask him what you can do. You're screwed. Like, screwed. There's no chance. And I'm guessing you probably won't do that well in prison because they don't love... I mean, all the people that are in there are the ones that you convicted. Perhaps falsely. Um, all right, team, I love you. I will see you next time. I don't know what we're going to do next time, but I feel like doing a couple more readings, so I'll be right back.